spending the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I ain't team. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Baby, you're all the company. I hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A Marie. Today, you guys, as y'all seen in the thumbnail and the title, I have <laughs> a massive, massive haul for you guys. Before we go any further, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, hashtag notification on point so you could be featured in one of my videos as the top three comments of the, of the day. Ugh, I couldn't get it out. You guys, if y'all are wondering what's all this about, this little goodness right here, y'all already did this look. I will have it right here. It was a collab with me and my sis Lindsay here on YouTube. You guys, I call her the wig slayer because baby, she been killing the wig reviews. But she went ahead and collab with me on a Valentine's Day look. So I will have it linked up here as well as Lindsay's video down below in the description box. I told you guys this is going to be a lot, right? I told y'all that. I told. Okay, for one, the contacts I'm wearing is TTDI contacts in the style Kiwi Green. You guys, I've been wearing TTDI for a minute. I love their contacts. This Kiwi Green is everything to me. So that was just a, you know, shameless plug. The lashes that I'm wearing, shameless plug. It is mine, A and B Lavish 25mm Mink Lashes in the style Pretty Lady, which I do believe Pretty Lady is out of stock, but we do have a lot of more styles to offer you guys. I don't even know where to start. That's how much stuff it is. So I think I should start with the PR. So there is a company by the name of Effie Eyewear. E-F-E -E, Eyewear. And I want to say it's called Effie. They reached out to me. They are a prescription eyeglass place. They also have just fashion with no prescription. Um, They sent me four pairs of glasses, you guys. And I am in love. Okay. This was in there, and I'm not quite for sure what these are for, but they say prescription glasses start at $5.99 over there at Effie Eyewear. Um, this is a PD ruler, the left and right. Okay, so it's the pupil, pupil ruler. Okay, I don't need that. I already have a prescription in there, so I don't need that. First pair of glasses are these. Y'all, I've been wearing the hell out of these glasses. Like, let me just show y'all. Girl, don't she look like somebody's teacher? <laughs> okay, she look like somebody's smart ass teacher. Girl, I've been wearing these glasses the most. I'm so glad that they reached out to me and wanted me to work with them because in my mind, I could never have too many glasses. So every glasses can, comes with the case, and she looks like this. She comes with a cloth cleaner and your pair of glasses. Now, one of my glasses, which I don't know which one it is right now, I did get the Blu-ray glasses, I think, and I'm not for sure which one it is. But I did get this pair of glasses, and she's super cute, and I like the way she bends out. Ugh, she's super freaking cute. Look at it. Cute, right? I love them. Oh my God, they're so freaking cute. I love it. They look real stylish and fashion. Like, they're so cute. Oh, so cute. Ah, so cute. They're mirror glasses and you guys. Bow. Who you playing with? Shawty, who you playing with? Okay. And then the last pair I got, I honestly think they put my prescription in every last one of them. That's why I can't tell. But these may be the Blu-ray, really. These may. These are so flexible. They're purple. They bend. These were my least favorite, even though I got to choose every last one. It wasn't just them sending me 
some glasses, but they're cute on. They're just too movable for me, but they're super cute while on my face. Like, and every last one of them fits the frame of my face. This portion of this video is advertised. I don't get paid for it or anything like that, but I did manage to give, get them to give me a coupon code for you guys if you guys want to rock some stylish eyeglasses because I know I can't see in my eyesight is bad, but I don't want to look like somebody's green and either when I'm wearing glasses, okay? So make sure to check down below. The coupon code will be down there in the description box. Thank you, Effie Eyewear, for sending me over these glasses. I love every last one of them. You guys, the coupon code is Marie Beauty. If you guys want, it'll save you some money off. And like I told you, their glasses start at $5.99. So why not jump on it? Now let's get into the rest of this. All right, you guys. So I'm going to start off with the small... <clears throat> a small black owned business um and the reason why i'm starting with her is because if you guys seen my first small business haul i talked about this company and she reached out to me after seeing that video and was like hey i'm so sorry all that and i was like no it's cool like i'm still rocking your stuff no matter what it's still good quality i love it she was like, well, let me replace the lip gloss. And I was like, no, don't worry about it. She sent it anyway. So this is from Alexia's Beauty. She sent over the, um, she sent over three lip glosses and a pair of eyelashes. So here is her information. Baby girl stepped everything up from the first time I purchased from her super freaking cute she's so nice and she's really cool so she did send me a pair of eyelashes and the eyelashes came with two wands and an applicator and it's a pink applicator i don't know the style of these lashes but they're super cute and long and she has her sticker on the back her logo and i was like girl i, I told you don't worry about it but she oh this is called aquarius Duh, A. Marie, if you open it, this is called Aquarius. And I was like, girl, I told you don't worry about it because I'm cool. But she is super cool and super nice. So thank you, Alexius, for sending this to me. I was super excited for her glosses, baby. The brand in. Girl, look, she sent me three glosses. Oh, and oh, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. And I was like, girl... I, me, she needs to go back to the drawing board. Step your game up. And that's what I plan on doing. I am stepping my game up. Okay, here is uh, the first slip gloss. She is a pure nudie color. And I really want to wear this right now. I was waiting on this video. Oh, and she's thick. Yeah. Just like I like her. Just like I like her. That is super pretty. Okay, let me swatch her for you guys. Here you are. She's a sheer nude, but you could tell it it will build up because you could see the nude. It does smell like some type of candy. Mm-hmm. Smells like some type of candy. Okay. And then here's the next color, which is a clear. Oh, and look how clear that is. And then this last one is a beautiful red. Look at this candy yum yum. This is so pretty. Look at there. Ooh, woo. super cute. So thank you once again, Alexia's Beauty. I love it. You guys, I got some exciting products. I'm super excited. Do y'all know what this is? Or do y'all know what this is? What kind of box is this? Comment right now. What kind of box is this? <laughs> I got it. I got the full Wild Child collection. And I am doing a whole review on it. So I'm not going to do any swatches or anything. But. This collection came with three lippies. We have, oh, that's cute. It said, put me on your lips. 
we have a lippy called sassy and like i told you guys i'm not doing no swatches because we're doing a whole video oh behave and i know a lot of people were talking about this on twitter and they were saying like now that ColourPop came out with melanin girl friendly or melanin people friendly the names and the collection was like a little off-putting this is brat pack i don't feel a, a way about it in a sense some of the word some of the names of the products can be a little like color pop you know like it can be like that but i don't know all right y'all sorry i'm back Okay, so the next thing I got is these Super Shock Shadows. This one is in the color Basic Instinct. And it's a beautiful copper brown color. Looks like that. Super freaking cute. And you guys know ColourPop has the most cushiony, soft eyeshadows there is. Love ColourPop for that. Their formula is just so different and outrageous. It's just crazy. So this one here is called Run Wild. Super freaking pretty. A soft brown. This last super, super shock <laughs> shadow is Free Range. Really freaking cute, right? I can't wait to give you guys this review. It should be up next. So hit the subscribe button as well as the notification so you won't miss the upload here is the palette and this one is called wild child now this is where people were going you know a little ham on color pop on twitter and stuff so in my mind i took it more so of the animal type of feel but at the same time people can be sneaky and try to you know throw it off on like no we're talking about the jungle when you're really talking about us but don't know for sure if that's really what ColourPop is doing. But I cannot wait to try this palette. You guys know I love me some browns and stuff. I, Lord, this is going to be so cute. And they did come with two blushes that I just cannot wear. So these blushes will go into my freelance kit. Um, this first one is Jet Setter. ColourPop almost had it, okay? They almost had it. Look how light that is. I mean, they couldn't get everything right. You know what I mean? Like, but they, they tried. So if you're way lighter than me, then yes, girl, this will work. This other one is Trippin'. And once again, it make you double look. This one is a shimmer blush. We're going to try them all in the review video, but I don't think they're going to work. And I'm sorry if I'm moving a little bit fast. Guys, I have to go pick up my son. There is no tutorials today. All right, so let me show you guys this box. It's All my stuff is in a box to try box, right? So I have some products on the side here. I have makeup, skincare, all that good stuff. So... If you guys watch my empties video or my 2021 videos, y'all know that this is my fave. And I told you guys that that bottle is going to end up in my empties because I was like skating on thin ice with it. So I picked up another one. And I do also use the Cetaphil daily moisturizer as well with the set of set to feel gentle skin cleanser but this one came with this um deep hydration cream so i wanted to try it and see like see if i like it oh it has a four dollar off coupon too in here so i wanted to try it and see if i like this but the set of feel alone is my fave i also picked up my wife the sarah v hydrating facial cleanser she's been looking for this everywhere hers also came with a mini facial wash in it she used that so that i could haul this <laughs> before she dips off into this but she's been looking for it i don't know 
many things about it, but I know that between CeraVe, Cetaphil, and Neutrogena, they're kind of like the top faves, but she wanted it. I got it. I also seen this Neutrogena Hydra Boost Gentle Cleansing Lotion. You guys, I have to read on it because i'm not for sure if you clean your face and then put this on or do you put this on your face and clean off the makeup it says lotion so it says apply to wet face massage gently and rinse with water or apply to dry skin with fingertips massage in circular motions gently wipe off with cotton pad or tissue to rinse or to rinse with water Okay, so I thought this was like a real lotion lotion. Um, but it says it's new from Neutrogena. And you guys know I kind of love Neutrogena. Y'all gonna see. I had to go back and get some of my faves. So I guess I'll keep y'all updated on this on Instagram. Oh, and if y'all haven't seen my Instagram or y'all not following me on Instagram, I did an update on the new Morphe skincare stuff. So y'all need to go and see it. Okay, y'all need to go see it. So that's where I give y'all an update app. I've been trying to get really good with being on my Instagram and my social medias a whole lot. So I would love for you guys to go and follow me and show support because I'm really trying this year. <laughs> I'm really trying. So it would mean a lot to me if you guys would take your time out and follow me on both of my social media IGs as well as my Facebooks and stuff, like it will mean a lot. So the next thing I found was the LA Girl Keep It Playful Eyeshadow Palette. I thought this was cute. Elf, uh, Elf, ugh. LA Girl had three palettes at CVS and I picked up this one, but I think I'm gonna go back for the other two just to do like a review or something on it. But I love the colors. They're warm tones, they're golden. Right up my alley, right? I did go ahead and jump on the hype. I got the Kiss Lash Glue Liner, but I got the clear one. And it came with a, fee a free pair of glasses, Bruh. which is in the style Cherish. Yes, Cherish. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it and see how I like it. Lash glue and eyeliner all in one. So yeah, I'm gonna try it and see how I like it because a lot of my YouTuber girls is raving about that, so. We're coming for you. All right, Flower. Finally, it's back in our stores. Flower was in our Walmart, but then they left, and I found this at CVS. I've been wanting to try some more Flower products, but could never find it. Not interested in going to the website. So I did pick up the Flower Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer, and I got this one in a deep. Now, I don't know how it's illuminating, but full coverage, but that's what I want to see. And I haven't heard nobody talking about this, not that I know of. Um, The next one, the Physician Formula Natural Defense Finishing Powder. It says natural. Hopefully, it gives like a full coverage because y'all know I love a full coverage. It says it blurs, protects, and perfects. Um, 360 Total Defense total defense complex spf 20 in it it works for blue light as well as pollution and this one is in the shade medium deep you guys know the only physician's formula face product i have is my bronzer and i love it so hopefully this will work i want it i don't want it to be natural i want it to be kind of full coverage okay everybody is raving about the new nyx eyebrow glue so I had to go and find it. It is in transparent. It says it's non-sticky, um, instant brow styler. Like it's supposed to be good. And you guys know I love putting my Elf Jelly Pop on my brows before doing my brows. So hopefully this NYX glue does it. Um, at my Walmart, I found this Bessie Johnson highlighter kit. You guys may not know, but I have a good amount of collection of Bessie Johnson purses. Bessie Johnson is my favorite when it comes to purses, wallets, watches, 
all that good. I love me some Bessie Johnson. So when I seen this highlighter, I don't even think it's gonna work for my skin tone, but I was like, it's Bessie Johnson. I got to have it. And it is a highlighter palette. It was in the Walmart clearance rack. I don't even know if our Walmart was advertising it, which I don't remember, but we are going to use it and try it out in one of my new um, new from the drugstore type of things, but it was in my clearance. So I don't know, but it's Miss Johnson, girl. Picked up me some more Perfusion eyeshadows. I did get the neon palette and these are all mattes. I did pick up the Fuchsia palette it has one, two, three, four shimmers in the wrist mattes, and I just love the berry colors. I love it. Y'all know the brights. I'm getting back into my colorful looks, and I just love the pinks. I've been into the pinks and the purples lately. So, girl, we got some videos coming, okay? Some videos. Oh, okay. So, you guys, the Crim Shop. Y'all know CBS is my place for the Crim Shop. I go there every blue moon just to see what's going on at the CVS. Creme Shop came out with a CC cream. And y'all know I'm not here for the CC creams. But the Creme Shop gave the claim just like if this is supposed to be a full coverage CC cream. Okay. Full coverage, age defense, moisturizing SPF 30. So y'all know elf blew me away so i'm hoping that the crim shop blows me away i did get the shade deep 250 and i want to say it was one shade that was like way too dark for me and then it was this one so i was like okay we're gonna try that one it looks a bit reddish but we're gonna try you guys so be on the lookout for this because y'all know I'll do a foundation wear test for you guys i'm not gonna keep telling y'all where i went back and forth because I'm just pulling like I'm just pulling and this was not all one day worth of buy. This is a whole lot worth of buy. Okay, so Walmart is now advertising the lip bar. What? I only heard of the lip bar on social media and the big YouTubers. So when I seen it in our store, I had to get one of everything. Um, they did have some foundations, but none of them were in my color. Um, I want to say they had a press powder. No, I got the press powder. Okay. They had a few things there that wouldn't, didn't have my color. So I was like, let's just stick with the stuff that will work for me because I don't want to waste money this year. So I did get the highly pigmented eyeshadow palette. And this one is brown bombshell. Okay. We're going to be doing a full tutorial on the lip bar products too. Um, I don't even know who owns the lip bar or if they're expensive or supposed to be affordable. They are the high-end affordable if they are supposed to be affordable. You know what I mean? They're on the high-end because nothing was under $10. Nothing at all. So, I did get the eyeshadow palette. I did get the Glow On Highlighter Blush. And this one is in top notch. Bruh. Look at the packaging, you guys. This is so cute. I wish it wasn't so hard to take out because I really want to see it. Look at this blush and look at this packaging. Isn't that so cute? This is bomb. And look at the back. Top notch. Oh, not top notch. I keep saying it. Top shelf. Here is the blush. This reminds me of Kat Von D Lolita brush. Blush. I think Lolita came in an eyeshadow though, but I use it as a blush too. And that's what this reminds me of. As well as the Set the Tone Finishing Face Powder. This is a medium to full coverage. Well, medium to buildable. And this one is in Brown Sugar Babe. Super freaking cute, right? Um, I did pick up the Joa Beauty's um Warm Me Up Concealer in Cafe. Y'all know Joa Beauty has a primer that I absolutely love. I never picked up the foundation, never had my shade. I don't like the brow pencil, but I have high hopes for the concealer. So hopefully I like it. Um, I haven't heard nobody talk about that neither. Let me tell you guys how I OD'd on Wet n Wild. 
OD'd. Okay, y'all know I love me some Wet n Wild. So I did pick up Heart and Soul new palette. Wet n Wild came out with all these new palettes. Some of them are repeats, but newly formulated, I want to say, because I got them and I have the older ones and I still love them all. I'm going to do like one video of a review slash swatch video and then I'm going to come back and do a video. It's going to be a kind of lengthy video maybe because I want to do an eyeshadow look with all five of these eyeshadow palettes and put it into one video and we're just gonna like solely focus on the eyes the face won't be even in the video like as in the makeup routine but it will be a complete face if you get what I mean here is heart and soul here is go commando they remind me wait and while bit off of elf with the bite size and i'm here for it okay we have sundays aren't these some beautiful colors uh i just hope they work just fine we have how do you say this paletti i hope i'm saying that right petal it pretty soft purples and pinks and then this is the one that's a repeat walking on eggshells I have this palette already. It's just not formulated like this one. Are y'all excited about the Wet n Wild reviews? I got some more Wet n Wild products though. And we're gonna use it all in that same video as well. Um, here is the new brow gel. It's in clear, brow sessive. Hopefully it works real good. It shapes you, it, it's a shaping gel. Just like my Crim Shop Swipe Right brow gel, but that one's in black. This one is in clear, so baby it's a brow meter like come on casual brow and then we picked up the new incognito all day full coverage concealer and this one is in medium golden and this is wet and wild as well and y'all know i love the photo focus concealer so hopefully the incognito does the same okay um i got some elf products y'all that mint collection almost made me buy everything okay so i did get the mint um this one is the liquid glitter eyeshadow and it's the mermaid shimmy y'all this is so pretty and i cannot wait to use it i did only get one little thing from the mint collection outside of the shimmy the bite size this is the chocolate mint i cannot wait to do a video with this I want that green to show up on me and be like, wow, you know, like I can't wait. And then I did pick up the Bite Size Face Duo and this one is in Coconut. It's a highlighter and bronzer. And I, it looks like the bronzer is deep enough, so I'm hoping it's deep enough. I also picked up the e.l.f. Um, Skin Hit Kit. This is all that hemp oil line that e.l.f. came out with. They had this as a try me type of thing so i was like instead of getting all of the full size why not get this and try it out and see if i like it so it comes with the puff puff primer the all the feels face oil the calm balm and the happy hydration face moisturizer good and bad things about the hemp line so we'll see because once again gonna be a video you get the smudge brush and this is in um i got too excited this is the brown pencil this is in the shade coffee y'all know i've been looking for a brown liner to put in my waterline just so on those days i don't want to use like that stark white or that black i wanted a coffee color like a brown color and i got it from elf so on the clearance rack the nyx shine killer primer I got it at my Walmart and I can't remember if I ever used this before. That's why I got it and plus it was four bucks. So I was like, huh, worth a try, okay? I did pick up the new Revlon Tantrum eyeshadow palette. This is the Prismatic Palette Revlon So Fierce. They do have a couple of colors, but all of them are shimmers so i don't want small eyeshadow palettes with four shimmer shades 
and nothing that could complement it. So I decided to go with the browns in this little rustic color right here. I said I could make this work with another palette. So I didn't want to get all of them. Now if Revlon want to send me all of them, girl, go ahead. But I wasn't going to buy all of them because I'm going to only be able to use two or three out of it and use another eyeshadow palette to go with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm D raved about this color, so I picked up the cover, the CoverGirl True Blend Under Eye Concealer in Golden Caramel. Platinum D just recently raved about this and said that melanin girls that's close to her skin tone should get it. I have one, but I can't remember what shade it is. Um, but I was like, if Platinum raved about it, your girl gotta go get it. So I got it. But it's not new to me because I already have one. I think it's in like almond or something. I Family Dollar. I go in there from time to time to see what new LA Colors products they have. So LA Colors came out with this Velvet Plush Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade Cozy. I thought it was a pretty color. It had a couple of colors, but... I try to stay away from buying every single one of them. Um, and I did get a new lip liner from LA Colors. And this one is in chocolate. And that was from my family dollar. Picked up the L'Oreal True Match. Yes, True Match Super Blendable Powders. These are not new, but I don't ever remember having these before. So I was like, why haven't I tried it? You know what I mean? So, I did pick up the shade N8, which is in Cappuccino, as well as C7 Nut Brown. Didn't know exactly which one would actually match me. Cappuccino always seems to match me, so got two of them just to see. I picked up another Maybelline Coconut, 355 Coconut. This is the Super Stay. For some reason, I thought I was picking up another color, and then I ended up with coconut. I already got coconut and toffee or tawny or something like that. So now I have a backup of coconut. That's what you get when you're shopping and you know you shouldn't be. Um, a new Neutrogena's product, which is a this bad boy. It is the Soothing Clear Turmeric jelly makeup remover it says it removes makeup and calms stressed acne prone skin okay i don't have acne prone per se but uh baby girl be getting you know these little bad boys that come out of nowhere and i'm like where the hell you come from oh so if it got turmeric in it and it's gonna help let's see if it help your girl's skin okay and it's new, so of course, and you guys know I've been all about the turmeric lately. So it just fell right in. I will be doing like maybe a mini IG video on this because I also got the Neutrogena Soothing Clear Turmeric Oil Free Gel Moisturizer. It hydrates and calms stressed acne prone skin. Okay, Neutrogena, I hear you. Let's see what she about. I want to try it. I did pick up the L'Oreal, what is this, Air Volume. I got the waterproof mascara. This is that Air Volume mascara. Y'all know I've been picking up all the new little mascaras that's been coming out to test some things out. So I did get a sample. Walmart was selling the regular size as well as the sample size. And this sounds like, sounds so weird. But this is the NYX Pore Filler Primer. This one came in a mini size as well as a full size. And I was like, let me try the mini before I, you know, dedicate myself and commit my life to that money. Um, but I also got the new NYX Marshmallow Primer. Y'all, this was high. Um, this one was, I believe, like $16, $17 at Walmart. I was like, whoa this better work and you guys know i'm gonna tell you if it work or not because we're gonna use it in an upcoming video all right so me and milani became best friends lately me and milani cosmetics became best friends on instagram okay so in order to try to become family with milani your girl went out her way and bought some new milani products 
I want to become a part of the, the family with Milani, but at the same time, you guys know I've done many Milani videos over here on this channel. So, Milani did come out with two new palettes and a face palette. This is the face palette. This one is volume 120, medium to deep. And this is the all-exclusive eye, cheek, and face palette. You guys, this is so pretty. Oh, I cannot wait to try it. And it looks like every shade is for melanin girls. Like, this looks like it is going to be bomb. It comes with a highlighter, a bronzer, a, two blushes, and three eyeshadows. Y'all, this is... Cannot wait to dip off into it. I was like, oh, Milani. Oh, I need. I need. Okay. I also got the new Milani Gilded Tiara eyeshadow palette in, y'all. Look at these colors. Look at these colors. This is right up my alley. Milani had posted it, and I was like, ooh. Jumped on their website and got it. It had just dropped. But I found this one in my Walmart. And this one is the Milani Luster Light Eyeshadow Palette. And both of them are hyper pigmented shadows. And I think this goes... I think this may have came out with the Gilded. I'm not quite for sure. But I had to get it so that I could try it. This looks like a beautiful bridal palette to me. And I can use it for clients that want that light but beautiful beat it is bomb comes with sh shimmers and matte so milani if you watching girl wait till i bust out this video okay oh i got another perfusion palette and it's the mauves ah super cute it was kind of messed up but here is the mauves and I can't wait to do a look with it. We got a few more products, you guys. I told y'all I'm trying to run through it because I got to go get my son in a minute. But here are those last two products that I got from the lip bar. I did get the quick concealer. This says it's a self-setting and brightening concealer. And it's a caffeine concealer. And what shade is this? Cinnamon. I got the shade Cinnamon. Which, once again, they didn't offer a lot of shades. So, I never got a concealer in the shade Cinnamon before ever since I've been wearing makeup. So, I'm kind of hoping Cinnamon works. I hope it works because I am here for it. And it says self-setting. Who doesn't set their concealer? But we will try it. Um, and then I got the lip, the, the Vegan Beauty Long Wearing and Jojoba Oil vegan liquid matte lipstick it is just too much to say but this is in boy trouble and this is the only shade besides the dark vampy ones that i normally go with i say you know what let me try red let's try the red but they do have some vampy colors that i would be interested in all right you guys the last two products got me some more neutrogena makeup wipes these are the fragrance free fragrance free makeup removal wipes two pack value pack y'all know i love it and my re-up that i hadn't had in a long time is my neutrogena hydra boost water gel you guys if y'all been rocking with me y'all know that this used to be bay okay i love this neutrogena put it on every morning and it just ugh, it feels so good it's a dupe for the um the aqua bomb from i forgot which company it is i had it too and i was wearing both of them like they both are the exact same thing one just drugstore one just high end you get it from ulta or sephora even though neutrogena is still kind of high affordable it's way way more better price than the aqua bomb so that is it everybody did y'all enjoy it are y'all still here if you're still here, let your girl know because it means a lot. I'm doing all this for you guys as well as my own, you know, small addiction to makeup. But I'm doing it all for you guys so I could give y'all some new products to review. Everything, if possible, will be listed down below. And if I can't put everything in the description box, you guys, please hit the subscribe button as well as the notification so you won't miss 
when I'm talking about all these products. Follow me on Instagram so you won't miss the many updates on these products. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. You guys are the best. Y'all are the best and I love y'all, okay? Huh. Comment down below. Let's get the conversation going. Let me know what you want to see first out of this haul. Let your girl know so we can get to it. I, I love you guys. I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces. Trying to spend the rest of my life.